Well, what is this cute little arrangement I have for you guys? I'm tired of doing the crosshatch because I've been working a lot on that. And I needed a new project to, you know, entertain my mind and my hands. And so I, many years ago, I used to do amigurumis when I was back in Michigan. Amigurumis, for those who don't know, is Japanese for crocheted stuffed animal. And it's so widely used, it's international now. So he's a little, he's a monster am, am Amigurumi. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to make today. These are the two yarns that I'm going to use. I have these flowers, so I think what I might do is maybe put a little hat on them or something. I don't know. I don't have any stuffing, so what I'm going to do is I have a couple old pairs of black socks, you know. So I'm just going to, I'm making a little mini guy here, and I'm using my socks as an insert to stuff them with. I have two crochet hooks here. One is a six millimeter, one is a six and a half. I have to see which is going to work best. So I'm going to double strand these together, because why not? I am going to start with a little uh, chain four and slip stitch into a circle and then go ahead and put eight single crochets in and I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around I don't have to switch off but you can see on the bottom here where I was attaching all my scrappy bits you can see the jagged line there you're not going to see that with this one I'm going to do this in a continuous pattern now and that was honestly just probably took about an hour and a half two hours and a lot of it was just looking for the materials but he turned it out i used two of those flowers from a different project so he's wearing his little hat here and he doesn't actually have feet this is his little hover hovercraft so he just buzzes around like that <laughs> he's got a couple little button eyes i thought about putting some arms on him but then i'm like eh, who needs to but anyway anyway there we go <laughs> that's so cute It looks like they're cutting down all the trees. These two porch arrangements didn't do very well this uh, this summer so far. As you can tell, the one in the center, I don't recall the name of it, but I'll, I'll include it here for you, it has fallen back. It's dead on, on the underside. And the second one that I planted over here isn't doing well. And it's the same on both plants. So what I'm going to do is rescue the petunias here. I have the planter set up over there, so I'm going to replant them. I'm going to do this fast because it's already a muggy hot morning. All right, so there we go. This is going to go out front and then I'll give it some water okay. and I get the hair out of my eyes. <laughs> So I moved the petunias to over here. 
I thought maybe they wouldn't look so pathetic if I put them slightly away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Look how tired and sleepy they look. And I don't know. The other plants are doing fine in that corner. Maybe maybe the, the good energy from the other ones will ride over to the petunias. <laughs> but since those two planters didn't do so well, what I did do is um, brought all my coleuses to the porch here. So my coleuses are shouldering the color now. I got a lot of bushy plants here, like the lantanas. They look nice in shape, but they're just not blooming a whole lot. But there are a bunch of little buds on them, so they might be coming up with another batch of uh, beauty in a minute, you know? But I do have a coleus here, and I have two of the red varieties here. And uh, that's what my porch is looking like now.